Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. The markets have been nonstop. It's pretty hard to keep up with, especially if you're trying to do everything at once. There is so much going on, like finding upcoming whitelists, deciding which altcoins you want to get into, playing the secondary NFT market, finding airdrops that are going to give you $10,000 for staking $30 of Solana. So what I'm trying to do is really focus on a niche and then be part of groups where everybody has a different specialty and you're able to help each other out. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about the upcoming mints that are happening this week week as usual nothing in this video is financial advice and if you haven't already done so would you kindly hit that subscribe button so we have a very big week ahead of us in terms of gaming mints there are two happening on december 12th which is one day from now if you are a day one watcher the first is cuckoo by matrix and the second is poglin now the matrix mint is happening at 1 a.m eastern so it is targeted towards the asian market however this project is very hyped and highly anticipated. They already have a playable game on your mobile device. I believe it's in closed alpha, so not just anybody can access it. However, they do host these esports tournaments so you can watch people playing the game. It looks very much like a Valorant meets CSGO, and the gameplay does seem very high quality. They also already have two collections with very high floors. The You Are the Champions collection has a 19 ETH floor, and their PFP is around three ETH. They recently ran up to four ETH. However, they have corrected back Back down. Now, I have heard the complaints of people saying that they buy up their own floors. And for one, I think most people don't realize how much market making goes on for both NFTs and tokens. It's an extremely common practice, especially when you have VCs involved and they're trying to raise more money in the future. You need to have a very successful project and the illusion of success. But it's also a common practice in Web2. Like Apple buys back their own shares all the time because it gives them a higher valuation and it allows them to loan more money from the banks. Now, I haven't looked myself to see if they're doing this. Personally, I don't care. I don't think anybody should be complaining about this. You should just be using it to your advantage if you actually believe that. Now, the other thing I'm seeing them get criticized for is their mint price for their upcoming collection, which is 0.4, which is very expensive, especially for a 6K supply collection. And when you consider their PFP is only a 2K supply. And what happens in Web3, or at least in NFT land, is no matter how much utility you add to a certain NFT, NFT Twitter does not like to do research. They just wanna look at the Genesis collection. They're gonna look at the secondary collection, look at their prices, determine what the success of the third collection is gonna be based on the supply. And in their minds, the third collection could never go higher than the second collection, which is currently at three ETH. Now I'll admit, I too was shocked when I saw this mint price. I thought it was gonna be way cheaper, like sub 0.1. I don't know why they chose to go this route, but you have to remember a majority of the collection is not gonna be minted by whitelisters. 2000 are reserved for their game and prizes. 500 are gonna be airdropped to the You Are The Champions. 1000, they say, are reserved for their series NFTs, which I'm not too sure what that means, but it means there's less than 50% of the supply that is left to be minted. And they also mention that it's linked to their token. So there's gonna be some sort of token airdrop that you get from these. Now, while I cannot predict the future, I have no idea what's actually gonna take place. But if I had to guess, I would bet that these are gonna mint out and it will be a profitable mint. I don't think they would risk doing this if they weren't confident that they were gonna mint out. So that's just my opinion. Now, the second collection that I mentioned that is also minting on the 12th is Poglin. And as opposed to Matrix, these have a smaller mint price at 0.05, but their supply is similar at 5,600. Now these guys are backed by Animoca Brands. And if you've been paying attention to recent meta, you know that if you slap Animoca's brand on a trash can, people are gonna wanna buy that trash can. Now, as opposed to Matrix who already have a playable game, Poglin has not even shown an inkling of a game demo. So I have absolutely no idea what kind of game they're building. I do really like their marketing. Their trailer is great. I love their characters, but I couldn't tell you what game they're building or how far along they are in the game development. The other thing is if we go to their roadmap page, like this isn't a roadmap. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be, but this ain't a roadmap. So hopefully we get 
more information in the near future again i don't think it matters just because they slapped on the animoca brand it doesn't mean it's guaranteed to be a crazy flip or it's even going to mint out but it does get them a lot of attention now i did tweet this poll out asking people what they think is going to be a better trade or a bigger flip if you minted one cuckoo for 0.4 or eight poglins for 0.05 each which is 0.4 and it does seem like a majority of people are choosing poglin here we have over a thousand votes but i'd venture to guess some of the reasons for this one obviously the lower mint price it's way easier for people to enter this and to feel a little more comfortable holding it and the other reason is it was really hard to get whitelist for cuckoo like they were not handing whitelist spots out we did a collab with them and we got like three spots most people just got one or not even guaranteed spots they just got first come first serve so poglin was a lot more liberal with their whitelist spots more lenient when it came to collabs and numbers so poglin in that sense is more a mint of the people so that could be one of the reasons people are voting like this <laughs> here poor sanjay he says i don't have whitelist for either of these but at the end of the day i think both of these can do really well they're separated by like eight hours so it's not like people are going to be minting both at the same time but we saw that with aof first and vendetta where they were both pretty much at the same time but both projects did really well but the most hyped mint of the week is without a doubt overworld now funny enough they also don't have any gameplay footage we haven't even seen a demo or anything like that but they're extremely hyped i heard their whitelist is selling for roughly 1200 dollars, and a lot of people are telling me they believe this is going to crack one eth on the secondary market so if you have whitelist for this collection i think it's gg i think it's going to be a profitable mint pretty much guaranteed now i'm personally hoping they don't open up too high hopefully like 0 0.4 0 0.5 but i tend to underestimate this stuff for aof first i was hoping for like a 0.2 maybe 0.3 max and they opened up at like 0 0.4 0 0.45 and it just ripped to 0 0.6 and then 0 0.8 and i completely missed the train so i will have eth ready but i'm not going to fomo anything i do not want to get wrecked now i don't think this is the worst hold in the world i'm not telling you to hold it the safest bet is usually to flip stuff but they have a token in q1 which is backed by binance and if the meta continues people are very hyped about tokens and i will have a upcoming tokens video tokens that have not released yet that i'm keeping my eye on dropping on wednesday so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that now with the success of overworld i believe there's going to be a lot of eyes on exterior both their launch pad as well as their upcoming token because i feel a lot of people forget that they're going to have a token so what my plan is i'm going to go through every single one of these games research them all find the ones that I really like the ones that are going to have a token or an nft and just try to get in touch with the teams and try to get early access to their token sale or to their nfts and get whitelist spots for my community now like I said I haven't gone through this list just yet there are a lot of games that I recognize now just quickly going through this list the ones that stand out to me and I have not gone through the whole list so I'm going to miss some for sure but if I had to just pick ones I definitely want to try to get whitelist for 3t I have been in chats with the team for a while this is like the gta of web 3 that's literally what they call themselves on your phone so it's a mobile game and they're going to have nfts they're going to have play and earn mechanics and i believe it's going to be a very low supply collection so it's going to be harder to get but it could very much be worth getting and the game actually does look like a lot of fun if we continue scrolling here we have I think this is called Aperon. It's a Ronin game, I believe. And a lot of people are focus or are playing Pixel right now. They're grinding it. That's like a Pokemon meets Farmville type of game. And it has something crazy like 100K daily active users who are all grinding for it and for the token airdrop. And I'm sure there's just some people who really enjoy playing the game. So I feel like Solana and Avax have had a lot of tokens on their chains pop off. But Ronin, maybe I'm just out of the loop, but I haven't heard a lot of these tokens popping off. So if Pixels does really well, we could see a lot of people rotating into Aperon. Now, just continuing to scroll, obviously we have Cart Party. I've spoken about this one multiple times. I bought two of their NFTs at 1.2 ETH. I'm currently up 50% on my investment as these sit at roughly 1.8. So this is another one that I'm already in chats with for a collab, but this is a huge list. I definitely have to go through all of them. They have both third-party games and some that they're developing. So I'm really excited for Exterio. And like I said, I'm also gonna be trying to get in on this token. So don't sleep on Exterio and don't sleep 
on the Exter token. Next up, we have a new incubation announcement out of Cedify, which is called Haven's Compass. And this is a first person shooter that is currently available on the Epic Game Store. So this is the fourth that they've announced in recent times. They have Bloodloop, they have Storm Warfare, they have Haven's Compass, and they also have Animalia, which is minting next week on Monday the 18th. Now, Animalia is a free to play trading card game that is inspired by the culture of Web3 and memes. If you go to the website, you get an idea of what the IP is gonna look like. It's centered around these different animals and nature. For me, these trading, this is a trading card game. For me, the trading card games are very much about IP. It's very hit or miss for me. My favorite in Web3 is Parallel, and that's because they have the whole space vibe going for them. I'm really into games like Mass Effect. And then in Web2, my favorite was Gwent, which was out of The Witcher, and it's purely because it's attached to the world of The Witcher. So I'm excited to try this game out as well as the other trading card game that they have called storm warfare and maybe i'll even stream it on this youtube channel finally the nft market or secondary market continues to be hot we have collections like l3e7 hitting a six eth floor this was a free mint that happened just like a month ago i really hope my community held on to this because we did get whitelist spots for this collection i'm personally still holding on to the one that i have and at this point i believe this can go into double digit eth so my target for this is at least 10 ETH floor, but it has been on an absolute tear in the last month. But the collection that everybody is talking about is of course Pudgy Penguins. It has crossed over 12 ETH for the second time in recent days. And all this is happening during the Art Basel event. I'm seeing a ton of footage out of the Pudgy Penguins event. They announced their Pudgy Worlds along with this trailer and people seem really hyped about it. I know there's the speculation about the token. Personally, I feel Pudgies doesn't need a token. Like I know we all want the payday, myself included, but if you actually want this project to succeed and a token isn't the right play for them, they should not do a token. But let's see if the Pudgy floor can continue to rise and potentially flip bored apes like everybody has been saying as a meme for a while now. But even though I don't own one, I'm really happy to see the success of this project because the team has been putting in a ton of work. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.